what is the golden era of sports? Go to any YouTube video and then the comments section and it's their era. And it could be the 50s basketball, 60s, 70s, 80s football, basketball. It could be the 90s. Pick one. It's that era. You'll always get 1,200, 1,500 comments. This was, when, this was when things were great. This is when they were tougher and they didn't play for money. <sighs> Never mind that back in those days, they were also in the summertime or the off-season becoming insurance agents, which you don't have to do anymore. But this is things that people do not understand. So I'm going to answer this for you today. The golden era of sports is now. And then the golden era of sports will be next year and the year after that and the year after that. And I'll tell you why. We had COVID this year, as you know, starting around March. We lost our sports for a little bit. But do you know how long we lost our sports? About two months before we got anything back. That's all. For a major pandemic, we lost two months of sports. Think about the eras that um, you talk about. They say that were the greatest times. And it's the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. There was no bubble. We didn't have the same vaccines, the same treatments, any of that kind of stuff. We would have lost our sports permanently. Basketball came back with a bubble. Hockey came back with a bubble. There's outdoors football. And they are, and all of those, every team's organ. Every team's facilities, top-notch. Top-notch facilities, top-notch everything. Masks, everything. They make sure six foot apart, everything is there. All the mandates. We have our sports because this, this is the golden era. Got to remember all this. For, for everybody... Yeah, and it's like just to bring anything else up, yeah, people can hate on LeBron James. I'm not. I'm a Larry Bird guy myself. But I had Bird. I had Bird. But I had him 13 years. Eight of my. Well, I had him eight years myself. I would have loved him longer. LeBron's fans have had him for 17. They've had a whole generation with him. I got eight years out of the 13. He had blown out back for three of them. I would have loved to have my hero then. But at least I can say he transcended something. But LeBron's around, and he's 35 years old, and he's 17 years in the league, and he's still dominant. He has all, pay, pays a million dollars a year in diet, in exercise, in training, everything. The, um, updates of his body, upgrades, everything he does. Pays a million a year. There were those options. And I will tell you this, if Larry Bird would have had that option for his back, he would have taken it too. If any of those people in the 50s, 40s, 50s, and 60s would have had chances of air conditioning and technologies, they'd have taken it too. Same with Babe Ruth. The biggest problem with saying back in my day or they were tougher or any of that stuff is the fact that you think that those older players would not have taken the stuff that we have now and you'd be wrong. Everybody takes a chance. We just happen to have the best of now and the golden era is always next year hello thank you for watching subscribe here for more information on the show including clips interviews and much more here on the pundits pundit